Morning, home inspector. This is the exterior inspection. Got a light here, and you can see the light clearly doesn't have any um, corking around the, the base of it. The problem with that is, is water can get down the back, get in touch with the contactors or the conductors, and then the whole wall could become energised. We have an external outlet here without a bubble cover. It should have it on there to protect the cable if you plug in an extension lead, don't get water on it. Now there's uh, corking cracking around the arch of the window above us there. And we have a downpipe emptying onto the grave directly at the foundation. It's not a good idea. And there's gaps, and the trim board is short, so there's gaps either side of the trim board there. They should be caught, that's a water penetration point. And with deteriorating corking, it's uh, getting to that stage when the corking needs to be redone around the house. Now the roof is both too high and too steep, even if it was as high, it's too steep, I can't walk on a roof that steep. So we're going to be using a telephoto lens to inspect the roof.
talking the things from around this light sitting here. We're on the left hand elevation, we've got a gas meter here, we're going to check the gas supply. We do not want leaking gas meters. A 200 amp meter needs to be corked along the top here, likewise with these uh, isolators. The um, units need leveling, they're not too far out of level, but they should be leveled, they'll only get worse. Well, we've got good insulation. We have the uh, water meter on here. Got a pressure of um, 70 pounds, very healthy. We're looking for between 70 and 80. Here we're going to test the, the voltage drop across the outlet. We're looking for 120 volts. There we go, 123 volts. That's excellent. These, of course, should be GFCI. I'll just check to see that they uh, trip. This is the uh, thermostat for the second floor. And note that the lowest temperature we could set it at is 68 degrees. That's because it has an interlock on it that prevents it being set lower than that. Now you may want to get that interlock taken off. We're now going to do an inspection of the attic. This is the attic inspection. We have uh, plastic covers on the um, 
electrical outlets, they shouldn't be plastic, they should actually be metal in a attic. We have no insulation on the P-traps and there's no sediment traps on the gas lines. The electrical wiring is going through the unit unprotected. There we go, conductors passing through metal unprotected and the Blue pipe is not bonded. That's the water heater to the garage. That's the flue pipe at least. And we've got 10 to 12 inches. Yeah, 10 to 13 inches of insulation. It's going to vary. It always does. We're looking for uh, water penetration. Here we go. A little bit of water penetration at this window. And it had caulking on the outside that was cracked. In the bathroom. Okay, got hot water there. Let's see if we've got a GFCI here. We do. And we should have hot water at the top. We do. Shower works. Isolation valve on the toilet. Okay, we're in good shape. Into the bedroom. We got any water penetration? No, no signs of it. Back bedroom. Good uh, closet, no damage up here. No damage to the windows. And we have the two windows here, no damage. Yeah, there's a sign of water penetration at both these windows. It's going to be down to the corking on the exterior, we've already mentioned that.
Yep. Another small bathroom. There's damage to the corking, or the, uh, yeah, the corking, grouting, at the piles here. It's working nicely. Isolation valve. And here's the GFCI, we tripped a little bit earlier. Reset that. Salt. Heat. And what we will do is we just test the voltage. This is on the same circuit as all the other bathrooms, so whatever is here in voltage will be on those other bathrooms as well. It's called Kirchhoff's Law. 123, which is good. And down here, we should have isolation valves. We do. We have isolators all as well. This is the games room. Sorry, media room. There we go. Lights on. We'll be back here later when we do the infrared scan. This is the uh, water heater. We have um, missing sediment trap. Temperature pressure relief valve. That's working. And then up here we have a vent hood. This is correct, it's secured. But the legs are not secured. And we do not have dielectric unions and it's rusting. So this should have a dielectric union here. Because it hasn't, you get an interaction between the copper and the steel. It causes it to prematurely rust. In the master bedroom we've got uh, water penetration, size of water penetration here. This is a corking problem, same as we faced upstairs on the second floor. This is the master. We got good functional flow.
the weekly. Sink, see what we got. Oh, that's okay. See what we got on the lift sink. Yeah, isolated. Hot water. Hot water. Hot water. Oh, good. Hot water. Good in here. Small powder room. Yeah, the isolator valve. Hot water. GFCI. GFCI's in the bathrooms are working. in good condition. Running. Got an anti-cycling device. It's all good news. And we should have GFCIs on the outlets. GFCI works. This is the uh, electrical board inspection. The valve fault detectors, but these days you've got to have arc fault detectors on pretty well all the outlets. Well, we don't have that. But there's nothing you could do about it. You can't retrofit them. Um, perversely, I have to tell you, you haven't got them because it's required by Trek and the standards of practice but there's nothing you could do about it there's no grounding bar as that I can identify Okay, it's got grounding at cold water, second ground, blank paint and garage down there, that's the second ground, and then bonding on the gas pipe and main pipes. But it hasn't got bonding on the fluid pipes. Now we're going to have a look inside the panel. This is the uh, panel. We're looking for double tapping. It's all looking pretty good.
garage doors and a trip sensor. Works nicely, not broken. This is the uh, fire, it's wood burning, a gas igniter. We're going to have a look at the damper. We'll try to see whether or not there's been a leak here. Hopefully not. It's looking okay. Oh no, there may be a leak, yep. Okay, that's fine. Um, I'm going to let it cool down a bit. Zone 1 is on of the sprinkler system. It's the flower beds. 
at the front elevation is zone one. Zone two. It's the left elevation. Left elevation foundation. Zone three. Front yard. Zone four. Zone 5 is going to be the rear yard. Zone 4 is the right elevation foundation. Zone, zone 6. Oh, sorry, zone 5. All looking good. Turn on the last zone. Zone six. Okay, all the zones are working. We have the uh, shut off valves for the irrigation system, front yard here, and the broken cover. And this is the uh, shut off valve and meter for the house.
know actually. I can't get it out of here. What I do need to do is get some water. Drink. Okay, all's well. Take a breather. Then go around and then go and measure the level.
gas flame. Gas flame is burning, burning nicely. This one's lighting. Flames come on. Good. Okay, come back. 